Excellent. My next question is around that also, uh, which is we are living in a very dynamic world where there's so many variables and you know, last year has been challenging this year, maybe full of opportunities. Uh, how is your brand gearing up uh, for this year or the years after uh, in terms of what are your consumer engagement strategies for this year in order to take your brand uh, to the next level? Uh, let me go to uh, Calm to begin with. Definitely listening more and not and realizing that the conventional way of thinking is for, it's gone really. You know, something that we done in the start of January was that we do a post-purchase survey. Like one of the findings we have is like the, the most engaged you'll ever have someone is the moment they click the button to buy is the most engaged they'll ever be with your brand. Because you, that, that's the moment that they, 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 they commit themselves to it. And then we always give serve up a post-purchase question and what we and so we change that up every few days just to gather more insights. And one that we did in January was that do you still feel that January is the best month to detox? Mm-hmm. Now, conventional ones of them tell you everybody's going to say yes, especially our consumer, the modern luxury consumer that really takes care of themselves, that's bought into this here new her wellness system. Overwhelmingly, people said no, which is a real surprise. And we looked at our, all of our competitors. Consumer was just telling us straight out, like, no, um, like, that's, that's not what we want. Another great example was that um, we also asked, you know, um, a lot of people are, are expressing critical views. Do you want us to do that? And again, our consumer said no, which was, again, really interesting. And, and we try to do that as often as possible because it really shapes. If people talk about, like, you know, I formed the consumer in my head and she's, uh, she, is called, she has a name. It's, well, that, that's great as a starting point, but you need to continue to develop that over and over and over again. And then it's that repetition. And it's kind of like just like the 10,000 hours theory. Like you, the more you learn and constantly ask questions, it just builds a better form. And, um, and I think just remembering that it's just it's different and people are feeling different um, mm-hmm. right now. And just ask them as much as you can. Awesome. Wow, that, that's pretty interesting. So you're following that survey method in order to understand what the consumers are thinking and uh, kind of taking it from there. Amazing. Uh, 